doing is reaching out to prominent newsmakers and celebrity and, and uh, also pu other public figures and asking them what musical artist has inspired them and in what way have they impacted their career uh, going forward. And um, uh, tonight our, uh, our first guest for this new exclusive series is uh, Reverend Dr. Jamal Bryant of the Empowerment Temple here in Baltimore, Maryland. A lot of music from your perspective that you, that you feel resonates so well with humanity. Man. An anthropologist once said, if you want to know the mind frame of a people, listen to the music they listen to. And the music always is an indication of their psychology and their, uh, of their modality. And I think that that's been consistent with the African American experience. And every time there's been a shift, the music always reflected it. And I think that's why today's music is so frightening for so many, <laughs> yes. uh, because it's, it's a lot of rhythm and a lot of blues, but not a lot of inspiration. Uh, what you hear a lot in music these days is hedonism and, and, a, and a lot of other cultural uh, 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 mishaps and things of that nature that don't, that don't really resonate well <coughs> with people trying to be prominent. And, and, and there's, there's not anything uplifting in music right now. Yes. What, do you, what do you think that speaks to culturally and socially? I think it's we go to the Motown area uh, that was uh, handpicked by Barry Gordy. You had all African American writers, uh, producers, musicians, and distribution. Uh, now uh, we've gone from 11 major record companies to four. And those four are predominantly not owned or operated mm -hmm. or directed uh, by African Americans. There is no forecast for future projection. Uh, so you deal with the number one rap album last year, uh, Kanye West and Jay-Z, uh, and then the refrain, my other, other bands, in the middle of a recession. Right. Uh, so uh, there, there is no point about uh, job development, wealth creation, or how they got out of the hood, because uh, Jay-Z is no longer in Marcy Projects, Kanye is no longer in the south side of Chicago, but their music does not reflect their evolution. A handle of what music's about. I've, yes. I've, I've been to your job. A couple of your services. The music plays a big role. Yes. Uh, the Empowerment Temple's uh, uh, services. Uh, but in particular to your experience, what music artist, music artist, if you can name one, has inspired you and impacted you in your career? I, I think that the the artist that has had the greatest impact on my manhood and my methodology uh, would probably be Marvin Gaye. Studio recording the album. Uh, Barry Gordy begged him not to do it. Uh, he told him it wouldn't sell, yeah. uh, it wouldn't move, it wouldn't be marketable. Mm -hmm. uh, but Marvin stuck to his guns and said, this is really what I call it. This is really uh, is the tribute signature piece of his entire career, uh, far beyond sexual healing. So, <laughs> so I, I, looking back at his career, do you think there's someone right now that could be molded to to follow those mighty footsteps of Marvin Gaye? Do you think there's somebody out there that you that you have a pulse on? Or yeah, is it I, I think there are two or three that have, have trappings of his DNA um, at his height uh, of consciousness. Wyclef Jean uh, speaks to it, especially in raising awareness about Haiti. Yes. Uh, and dealing with treatment of uh, women and community involvement, you got to deal with common. Yes. Uh, when you deal with uh, moving uh, people progressively and being politically active, you can't ignore Talib. Uh, so I think that they are those who have pieces of it uh, and then depending on what moment or mood Nas is in for the day, yes. uh, <laughs> uh, he, he can go that way or go in the opposite direction, <laughs> right. uh, depending on what he's feeling. Chance we're here with Newswire.com, and we're here with Reverend Dr. Jamal Bryant of the Empowerment Temple. We're talking about my musical inspiration for the African American Music Appreciation Month in June. Um, you can catch more at Newswire.com, TV1.com, and also check us out uh, on our Radio1.com, Radio1 products, and properties all across the nation. Thank you, thanks for tuning in.